Dr. Divishika Sethia, co-coordinating the Samsung Digital Academy Research Lab. And uh, this has been set up under the esteemed uh, guidance of Honorable Vice Chancellor Professor Yojate Singh and our Head of Department, Professor Rajni Jindal Ma'am. We owe a special thank to Professor Daya Gupta for helping us initiate and meeting Samsung, uh, which led to the MOU and setup of this beautiful lab. We are thankful to DTU for providing this beautiful space in which this lab could be set up. In the current age of telemedicine and mobile computing, Samsung Digital Academy Research Lab is an innovative upcoming research lab which has been set up in collaboration with Samsung India in Department of Computer Science and Engineering at DTU. The key thrust areas of research in this lab are mobile healthcare, mobile security and artificial intelligence. Students are working on innovative areas using machine learning and deep learning such as prediction of attention and stress using wearable sensor devices such as EEG headsets. They are working on enhancing the performance of mobile applications, working on innovative mobile applications for early detection of health problems such as dementia using NLP and uh, attention monitoring using camera-based mobile interface which will assist online education. We are also working on lightweight security schemes to enhance mobile and IoT devices. Kotlin Coroutines are a new concurrency framework for Android. Their lightweight structured concurrency model makes them a supreme fit for the resource constrained environment that Android offers. In this project, we aim to formally compare their performance against existing concurrency frameworks such as JVM executors and RxJava. Additionally, we compare the performance of two novel model view intent architecture libraries for Android, Mavericks by Airbnb and Vector proposed by me here at DTU. Comparison of their performance offers a key insight into the possible performance gains possible in real-world projects by a switch to Kotlin coroutines. Alzheimer's disease is an irreparable and progressive neurodegenerative disorder which deteriorates the cognitive and linguistic abilities of a person over time. A lot of research has been done in the recent times for the early detection of Alzheimer's but it, it is still a very challenging task. Uh, currently, doctors make use of patients' previous histories, lab reports and the change in the behavioral patterns of a person to detect this disease. In our research, we aim to make use of natural language processing techniques like word embeddings in order to detect the relationship between the words and which, will, which would eventually help in the detection of Alzheimer's. Cognap's project looks into the impact of creating a predictive model to assess stress using psychological biomarkers with EEG headsets are used to study the brain wave, heart rate and galvanic skin test. We aim to come up with a useful predictive model to help students pre-train for placements and important exams for uh, higher education. Physical activity has a lot of importance on improving our attention, specifically in the era of remote online education. But do our brain waves uh, respond to uh, physical activity? So in this project, we are uh, working on, the, uh, on developing a predictive model to uh, detect impact of the physical activity on attention using EEG headsets.